Elliot, one thing that I want you to know about you as a Christian, a follower of Jesus Christ. It's amazing to learn about God and read about God and walk with God. It'll change you, Elliot. It changes everything. It's not a bolt of lightning. It takes time sometimes. It's all at God's timing. You need to have patience. But that doesn't mean you go sit on a hill and do nothing. You read scripture a little bit. You pace yourself and focus on Christ in everything that you do. What would God do in this situation? Ask that. Pray that. And always seek your Holy Spirit in you, in the soul. One thing that you have to always remind yourself as a Christian is that this life is short, Elliot. Your body is only temporary, as you know now. It's, it's bound to be in the ground eventually, in dust, decay in dust, falling, falling to dust in the ground. We're all destined for that. But between now and that time, we have to perform or live our lives, Elliot, in a way to prepare ourselves for heaven. Let me repeat that. As a, new, as a Christian, as a young Christian that you are and you're learning now, you have to live your life knowing that you will be judged at the rapture when you're up, when you go up in the air, when Christ returns for the church. I didn't get into that. But a quick reminder, the dead will rise up first, and we that are alive, if we're still alive, our bodies are not in the ground, we're going to catch up with them in the air and meet Jesus Christ. And that will be a time that we are judged by our works, by the fruit we bear. How we lived our life, basically. If you did things that hold to the fire, did things that are good and righteous to God, you will receive crowns, Elliot. Okay, that just went over your head. Again, at the rapture, we will fly up in the sky, meet Jesus Christ, and then Jesus will reward us for the crowns we earned by bearing good fruit in Jesus' name. We'll talk about that in more detail. But for right now, what I wanted to tell you is that you need to focus and remember on what Jesus said about us working for him in heaven. That's right. Elliot, you're going to be working in heaven. You're going to have a job. Maybe more than one. Who knows what we're going to be asked to do. But we will be working in heaven. In Revelation 22.3, toward the last book of the Bible, toward the end of prophecy, Jesus made it clear to us. Let me read this to you. The Bible says in Revelation 22.3, His servants will serve Him. We will have work in heaven. God will have work for you, Elliot, in heaven. And we got to be glad for this. We got to be happy and rejoice about this. Because after all, if all we did in heaven was sit around and do nothing, we would be pretty bored. No, 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 no. We will have a job to do. We will serve God in heaven when we go there. So you better prepare yourself, Elliot. You better think about this. How you live your life in your body, your soul, in your body, today, until your body stops, really determines a lot on what will happen in heaven. Prepare yourself, Elliot. Be grounded in God. Be grounded with your Holy Spirit. Be grounded in Scripture. I know it's difficult to read. It's 8 o'clock. I know it's hard to read, Elliot, but you can listen to audio. Maybe five minutes a day or every other day. But don't turn your back on God. We have work to do, son. Maybe we'll be working together as a family. 
hoping that everybody will get to heaven. Remember, we will be serving Him in heaven. We have work to do. We will be busy. So let's get ready now in our bodies and show God that we love Him, we glorify Him, and we will do everything we can by the Holy Spirit in us to represent Him in what we say and what we do. Let the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, lead you, son. Oh, give the Holy Spirit a chance. I want you grounded. I want you firm on biblical truth. That's it. I've come to an end with my tracks today. Happy birthday. I love you so much. I can't be there. I always thought that you and I were going to have our breakfasts in the morning and we can talk a little bit about scripture. I tried to do that with Maddie when I asked her to come back. We used to pray in the morning before we go to work. Just for a brief moment before everything else got messed up. I miss you so much. I really thought we would be doing this together in person. I'm not going to talk about that right now. So Elliot, what better way to end all this today and yesterday and all these audios that I've made for you? But let's end it in prayer. I don't know where you are or what you're doing. I pray to God that you will take the time and listen to these audios about your body, about your soul, the human spirit, the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, renewal of the faith, confession, repentance, what grace is and what is grace not. Waiting on the Lord, religion, people, your feelings, oh, be careful. Do not be lukewarm. Prayer, prophecy, all of these things are in the most basic words that I can share with you to help you understand what you are, who you are, where you come from, and where you need to be. So let's finish this with a word of prayer. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for you. And I hope you pray with me. And if you don't now, maybe later you will. So bow your head, close your eyes so you're not distracted. Let's focus on Christ. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for Elliot in my life. Thank you for my son. But this is your child, Father. He is yours. Thank you for leading him to you at such an early age. And I pray that he will renew his faith when the time is right and the time is needed. I pray, Father, that you keep Elliot protected. Keep him near to you all the time. Nudge him closer to you, Father, so that he stays on the right path to glorify you, to serve you, to love you. And may he be a witness, Father, to other family members, to other people in his family, friends, co-workers, anyone that he, he interacts with, that they will see his Christian faith in what he does and what he says. Father, use Iliot to your will. Use him as an instrument I pray, Father, that he will come closer to you and begin to pray more on his own to you. I pray, Father, that you will reveal to him the doors that can open for him. I pray for his life and his well-being. And I also pray for his mother, my daughters, and grandchildren. Father, you are always working behind the scenes. You are always working 
behind the scenes. You never stop. Thank you for Jesus Christ. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for bringing in us into this world. And now lead us, Father, by your Spirit on how we need to live for you. Show us your will and help us be patient. God bless Elliot. God bless her mother, Kimberly, his mother, my wife. God bless Elena and Madison and the children and Cody and all the family members and cousins and grandparents. I lift up all the families to you and I pray for your blessing, your blanket of love all over us. And I pray that you will restore relationships. I pray that your Holy Spirit will lead us to victory in everything. You have unfinished work in Elliot and in us. Help us keep our eyes open on you and not be distracted by this world. Thank you for Elliot. I pray that he will listen to this audio and that he will never lose it. He will always keep it to his heart. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.